if you want to just maintain position all you have to do is just spot lock it and the motor is gonna do its thing and it's spot lock right here you're not even moving it's gps enabled and it will spot lock you within five feet or whatever you press that button <laughs> it's some crazy stuff hey guys we're right here on the brand new old town autopilot powered by a minkota ipilot unit where's my glasses because my that the sun is on my face the craziness of this thing the crazy things that you're able to do with this is just plain amazing and we're just having a blast super blast with this boat it's just plain amazingness pure amazingness if you want to learn more about the whole new sportsman land from old town sportsman land is that how you say sportsman line from old town i'm gonna link a special link down below it's gonna take you to old town and in there you're gonna be able to read everything about this product and the other amazing stuff that they have that we 100 percent we're gonna cover in this channel but i need you to click on that link and spend some time some quality time with old town and learn everything there is to know about those boats now this thing is, is just pure amazingness on the water the things that i was able to do with this boat on this demo is just off the short craziness you're gonna get to see it you're gonna have to watch the entire video so you see what i'm talking about don't miss a second of it and now you may be asking yourself what am i using to power this amazing piece of technology i'm using a lithium battery from amp outdoors matt he's an amazing person and he is trying to do his best to offer you the best prices available on lithium batteries and guess what not only that with my special code alix5 link in the description you're gonna be able to save five percent of your battery this is some crazy stuff guys not only you get to learn amazing stuff about this new kayak from old town but also you get to save money with this channel right it's a win 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 the situation old town provided this boat at no cost to me to make these reviews they even flew me to maine last year to kind of get my feedback on this boat and i happen to say that some of the stuff that we said we wanted they made it happen they did listen to us right so that's amazing now let's get to this video just lift it up over here bring it down right there bring this up it's done go ahead and plug in the cable it's easy just goes in deploy that rudder turn the seat gosh this thing's so stable we, we're gonna we're gonna flip this bow later but we're not gonna do the motor because hey that motor is too expensive for me to be flipping it and something happens to it you know Now the key is on. Oops. <laughs> so much space I, I tripped. So much space on this boat I tripped. Alright, rudder all the way down. It's on the other side. It's all the way down now. Let's do this. There you go. Huh. Did it click? Oh, because I don't have the kill switch. Don't have the kill switch so there's no clicking where's the kill switch kill switch goes right here now there's clicking kill switch is there okay guys um let's turn the motor on and see what's up it's super windy here okay guys gonna hit it up to 10 should have brought my audio thing for the audio okay guys we are going maximum speed the speed 10 we hitting 4.1 miles an hour 4.2 miles an hour speed 10 the maximum i seen is 
Now let's see how sharp this thing turns. Look at this. Oh my god. Where's my rod? Over there. Look, I'm just using my feet for now. I'm gonna see how sharp it turns. Oh my god, this thing is amazing. Look at that rudder go. Ooh. This is like navigating. I think I got a little bit of grass. Let's stop it right here with ah. All right, let's see what's up. All right, I want to see if we got any sort of grass. This wind is terrible. We may have to redo this text. Text. <laughs> this test. No grass whatsoever. Incredible. Okay, 4.1, 4.1. So the maximum speed we get on this boat is 4.2 miles an hour. I wanna do a short term. I wanna see how well it does it with the motor and the rudder. Oh, I did it too much. Oh my God, look at, oh my God, did you see that? Ooh, ooh, we, we gotta do this again. Dude, like on the spot, man. What? You could train yourself to be super amazing with this thing, like to do amazing, crazy stuff. Like we're gonna go hit that thing over there. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna go in reverse, see what's up. What the heck? Check this out guys. Dude, if this does not convince you to buy this boat, I don't know why I will. This is just incredible stuff. How, let's see if how close we can get here. Oh my God, this is, this is just nest level stuff, guys. This is just plain amazing. Make sure to check the link down below to, to get learn more about this. Wow, man, this is this is just plain incredible, man. Ooh, I keep saying wow because it's like wow. This is boat technology for big bass boats, and we have it right here on our little tiny kayak, and it's everything. Everything is built in. You don't have to break your head trying to find a way to bow mount a motor like this. And everything just comes together, and the price is not that bad. It's, this is just whistledry. This is amazing stuff. And I wish that all tournaments will open up to motors, but when they see this, they're gonna go like, that's next level stuff, bro. We cannot compete with that. You know, like, for real, this is some crazy shit. Well, I actually hit the right one, but... Dude, next level shit, man. Next level shit. Let me stand up. I'm gonna be careful not to fall. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, guys. Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? What kind of wizardry is this? Shoot. Now we're talking. Imagine I have a rod in my hand instead of my camera. And I'm just working this piece of whatever this is right here. Lily pads. I'm just like, dude, looking for fish. I could actually, I should go slower because I'm looking for fish. Oh my God, this is so kind of wizardry, bro. This is incredible. 
everything you need to know about this boat is down below on that link it's gonna take you to old town and in there you're gonna be able to learn everything everything about the whole line of sportsman kayak fishing kayak which is just some kind of wizardry bro look at this look at this how i'm going this way like this is amazing i'm going that way over there and it's just going sideways yeah with the hobby 360 you could go sideways like this but not standing up doing shit right talking to the camera this this is next level stuff bro this is just incredible shit wow um, let me just go ahead and, and, and lift the rudder up the rudder is up now we're just gonna be controlling this boat with with this ready go 2.7 3.7 4 miles an hour 4.1 miles an hour in freaking reverse are you kidding me because there's no reverse it's actually going forward the motor but it's backwards so it's going in reverse this is some level shit omg oh my god this is too much dude Woo. I'm speechless. This is too much. This is too much. This is too much fun. Okay, guys, I would just want to go and go like a speed one, a speed five, so you get an idea of how this thing uh, performs on the water. So let's go ahead and do that. It goes in half, like 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, and like so all right so this is speed one basically we don't like we're not even moving it's 0.6 miles an hour don't even hear a thing speed five 2.2 miles an hour 2.3 2.4 miles an hour right now this is half the speed and it's almost half the speed that it actually goes 2.6 right 2.6 speed 5 2.7 we hit briefly 2.7 uh, we know that it goes the same way in forward and reverse because you just turn the motor so no need to go and test that in reverse because all it does is just turn the motor and go it goes at a normal constant speed like if it were for the motor is it will be like if it's going forward anyways all right so let's go ahead and do a speed 7 i want to see like a speed 7 i think it's like the the sweet spot because it's like 3.3 miles an hour maybe 3.5 miles an hour depending on conditions and this is like the trolling speed this is what you need to catch those fish around the mangroves or if you troll around the banks on a big lake yeah 3.3 3.4 miles an hour speed number seven and speed 10 we know that is four miles an hour 4.2 miles an hour depending i want to do the paddle test but this is tricky you're not gonna be wanting to paddle this boat unless you run out of battery but just get a 100 at hour battery and you have two full hour full speeds manage your wrench all that stuff but sometimes you may have to paddle so let's do the paddle test right here right now see what's up now um i'm gonna have the motor unit down for now and then i'm gonna lift it up and see what's up I just want to get a feel for how fast we can go and I don't have my GPS unit so I do have this handy unit that tells me how fast I'm going and I'm gonna see if I just see how well it paddled with the unit down it's 2.7 2.9 miles an hour what? just hit it hard let's see how fast we go first of all i have the rudder i'm paddling like like you will have a paddle kayak you have the rudder down and you're controlling the rudder with your feet it tracks pretty well we are 3.2 miles an hour wow you could get going this paddle is too short though you need like a 260 at least if you definitely a 260 250 260 
uh, 3.3 miles an hour. You could paddle it. Definitely could paddle it. I wonder if the motor is creating some kind of drag, probably is, but not. It's probably not gonna be like crazy. Yeah, it paddles better with the motor up. I guess I could feel it. I would say maybe three and a half miles an hour. The rudder does help a lot. It doesn't feel like a tank. It definitely paddles better with the motor up. It, I felt it. It's probably half an hour. Half an hour. <laughs> it's probably half a mile better with the motor up. We're gonna be testing that later in later uh, videos and I'll let you guys know. But this, this was designed to work with the motor. So have your battery charge and take a spare with you. We're gonna be doing the grass test right now. See what's up. There's a little bit of grass right here. See what happens. Not much, I guess. The grass is thick over there. Let's go over there. There's some thick grass over here. This thing just keep crawling too. Two through. There's some thick stuff right here. Oh my God, this is like next level. Shh. This is grass stuff. Hi. Hey. How are you? Good and you? Good. Having a good time? <laughs> are you having a good time? Yep. Okay. Uh, this is. Are you? Are you cleaning? No. Yeah, this is not really one of those lakes that they allow us to have uh, motors or or no kayak at all. No kayak. Oh, that, that's not good. Yeah. Because um, I've been here a few times already. Yeah, I know, and I haven't seen you. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I'm gonna have to go find some. Do you know where I could go and and not that far from here where I could uh, throw it on the water? No. I would I would say just um, am I are, am I on camera? Yeah, but I won't put you on. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I would go on miamiday.gov and look it up. Unless you want to be famous. Um, tropical park. Do you think if I you if can I could go talk to them over there? Oh yeah, because I heard uh, they do have kayaks over there. Yes. I don't know if you could take your own. I don't, if you have your own insurance and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will. It will be. I just got this uh, yesterday. It will be registering everything. Okay, it looks nice. Oh, this thing is amazing. Uh, it's fully control remote. I see that. You could just press one button and uh, it, it anchors you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, I didn't know that you couldn't. I mean, because uh, I seen other people get in on kayaks. I thought it was fine. Yeah, we're not, su we're not supposed to. If something happens out here, then we're responsible. I see. I'm going to call Tropical Park, see if they, what, what the rules are. Yeah. Or or maybe I just get on the canals. I know I know on the canals you could get in. Yeah. Yeah, but the problem is finding one that you could get in easily. I mean, I live right there. That's why this is just it was yeah, easy. I'm just doing my. Duty. What about what about fishing? Can you fish here from the bank? Uh, you're not supposed to be. Oh wow. <laughs> the signs are supposed to be up. Yeah, I think they took it down. <laughs> Listen. Have a good day. You too. I'll. I'll I'll get out now. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. No more. Oops, shit. No more uh, kayak test here. Damn. Right, so let's bring this motor, get it out of here. Let's just go ahead and unplug this and this. I want to see what sort of battery we have left. Seventy-eight percent. What the heck? 
this boat is not about speeds, right? You get 4.2 miles an hour maximum speeds and half speed, speed five, you, I forgot, what was it, like 2.6, I think it was 2.6 miles an hour and then if you hit a speed 7 you're looking at 3.3 to 5 miles an hour which is the perfect trolling speed, 100% but this thing is just, look, from the second I saw it I go like, this is it this is all I wanted all my life but, it's missing something big it's not perfect, like I mentioned, it's kinda slow, 4 miles an hour, I want it faster I have an idea to make it faster so if you want to see what that idea is you better subscribe dude tell you don't forget to check the other amazing videos that I have in this series and also don't forget to click on that link below to Old Town if you haven't seen it it's not an affiliate link there's nothing to be sold from my end maybe sell you something but I'm not getting anything from that link right here click on this video uh, and then you'll see me you will hear my amazing uh, Cuban accent right here go for it